Born on November 3, 1957, in Stockholm, Sweden, the actor known for his imposing physique and intense on-screen presence started his journey in a completely different field. Initially, he pursued a degree in chemical engineering from the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm. However, a chance encounter with martial arts and a scholarship to study in the United States led him to a new path. In the late 80s, the actor made his film debut in Rocky IV, playing the iconic role of Ivan Drago, a formidable Russian boxer. This breakthrough performance catapulted him to international stardom and paved the way for a successful career in Hollywood. Over the years, he has appeared in numerous films, showcasing his versatility as an action star, dramatic actor, and even comedian. Some of his most notable roles include He-Man in Masters of the Universe, Frank Castle in The Punisher, and Gunnar Jensen in The Expendables franchise. In addition to his acting career, the actor has also directed and produced several films, further solidifying his status as a respected figure in the industry. Despite his many accomplishments, the actor remains humble and dedicated to his craft. He continues to push himself creatively, exploring new genres and taking on challenging roles. With his unwavering commitment to excellence and his passion for storytelling, the actor has left an indelible mark on the world of film and entertainment. Dolph Lundgren is a well-known actor who has made a name for himself in the film industry with his distinctive presence and impressive physique. You might recognize him from his iconic role as Ivan Drago in the movie Rocky IV. One thing that sets Dolph Lundgren apart from his contemporaries is his background in martial arts and engineering, which he has incorporated into his acting roles in various action films. We'd love to hear from you. What do you think makes Dolph Lundgren stand out as an actor? When was the first time you recognized him in a film or show? And do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic star? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. As we delve deeper into the life and career of this fascinating actor, we'll share some funny, shocking, and sad facts about him. So, keep watching to learn more. Born on November 3, 1957, in Stockholm, Sweden, the actor had a humble upbringing. His parents, Carl John and Sigrid, were both engineers, and he was the eldest of three children. As a child, he was more interested in sports than acting, excelling in martial arts, particularly Kyokushin Karate. The actor's path to stardom began when he won a scholarship to study chemical engineering at the prestigious Massachusetts Institute of Technology in the United States. While at MIT, he discovered his love for acting and started taking drama classes. He also worked as a bouncer to make ends meet, which helped him develop his imposing physique. One of the actor's earliest influences was his karate teacher, Kenji Kurosaki. Kurosaki not only taught him martial arts, but also instilled in him the importance of discipline and hard work. These values would later serve him well in his acting career. Another significant influence on the actor's life was his mentor and friend, the legendary actor and martial artist, Bruce Lee. The actor met Lee while he was still studying at MIT and was deeply inspired by his philosophy of self-discipline, hard work, and humility. Lee also encouraged the actor to pursue a career in acting, telling him that he had the potential to become a great action star. After graduating from Mickey, the actor moved to New York City to pursue a career in acting. He struggled initially, working as a bouncer and a martial arts instructor to make ends meet. However, his big break came when he was cast as Ivan Drago in the 1985 film Rocky IV. The role catapulted him to international stardom and established him as a formidable action star. Since then, the actor has appeared in numerous films and television shows, showcasing his versatility as an actor and his prowess as a martial artist. Despite his success, he remains humble and grounded, attributing his success to the values instilled in him by his parents, teachers, and mentors. Dolph Lundgren, the renowned actor and martial artist, is worth celebrating for his significant contributions to the film industry. Born on November 3, 1957, in Stockholm, Sweden, Lundgren initially pursued a career in engineering before transitioning to acting. Lundgren gained international fame for his role as Ivan Drago in the 1985 film Rocky IV, where he showcased his imposing physique and acting skills. His portrayal of the Russian boxer who kills Apollo Creed in the ring remains one of his most iconic roles. Throughout his career, Lundgren has appeared in numerous action films, including The Punisher, Universal Soldier, and Aquaman. 
He has also worked as a director, producer, and screenwriter, further solidifying his status as a versatile talent in the industry. Lundgren's impact on the film industry is undeniable. His ability to combine physical prowess with acting ability has made him a standout in the action genre. Despite facing challenges and setbacks, Lundgren has continued to work in the industry, inspiring others with his determination and resilience. In conclusion, Dolph Lundgren's contributions to the film industry are worth celebrating. His talent, versatility, and impact have left a lasting mark on the industry, making him a respected and admired figure among fans and peers alike. Growing up in Sweden, the actor was always drawn to sports, excelling in martial arts, and amateur boxing. However, a fateful encounter at the age of 19 changed his path forever. While studying chemical engineering in the United States on a Fulbright scholarship, he caught the eye of Jamaican-American actor and producer Grace Jones at a nightclub. She was captivated by his 6'5 stature and piercing blue eyes and soon offered him a role as her bodyguard and lover in her upcoming film, Conan the Destroyer. Although initially hesitant, the actor accepted the offer and found himself on the set of a major motion picture. It was there that he discovered his passion for acting, realizing that it combined his love for sports and his natural charisma. He later recalled, I was always a bit of a show-off and I loved the attention and the adrenaline rush that came with performing. Despite having no formal acting training, the actor quickly proved himself to be a natural, delivering a memorable performance in Conan, The Destroyer, and solidifying his place in Hollywood. From there, he went on to star in numerous iconic films, including Rocky IV, The Expendables, and Creed Roman II. Throughout his career, the actor has continued to push himself both physically and mentally, taking on challenging roles that require him to showcase his martial arts skills and his emotional depth. He has become known for his intense work ethic and his dedication to his craft, inspiring countless others to pursue their own passions and dreams. In the end, it was a chance encounter and a leap of faith that ignited the creative spark within the actor, leading him on a remarkable journey that continues to this day. After years of training, the actor obtained his third degree black belt in Kyokushin Kai Karate in Stockholm, Sweden in July 1998. This achievement came after a four to five month intensive training period with his former teacher, Brian Fitkin. In most of the actor's films, he is seen with his natural blonde hair. However, there are a few exceptions where his hair is dyed jet black, including in The Punisher, Dark Angel, and Small Apartments. In Showdown in Little Tokyo, the actor portrayed Sergeant Chris Kenner, and his leather jacket in the movie featured the kanji logo of his karate style, Kyokushin, on the left sleeve. This subtle detail added authenticity to his character and showcased his dedication to the martial arts. The actor, born in 1957, faced financial struggles early on. Raised in a small Swedish town, he worked various jobs to make ends meet. However, his dream of becoming an actor seemed out of reach. Undeterred, he took up martial arts, which eventually led to a fateful encounter with a famous filmmaker. Skepticism in the industry was another hurdle. At 6'5", with a muscular build, the actor was often typecast as the villain. Yet, he refused to be pigeonholed. He started writing and directing his own projects, showcasing his versatility and resilience. Despite the challenges, the actor remained steadfast. He leveraged his physical prowess and intellectual acumen, earning a master's degree in chemical engineering. This unique blend of brains and bronze set him apart in the industry. The actor's journey is a testament to his determination and creativity. From financial struggles to industry skepticism, he overcame every obstacle with tenacity and innovation. His story serves as an inspiration, reminding us that resilience and creativity can help us navigate life's challenges. After auditioning for the sequel Rambo First Blood Part II in 1985, the actor's breakthrough role as Ivan Drago in Rocky IV the following year brought him great fame. Despite being born in 1957, he claims a birth date of 1959, adding to the mystery surrounding his past. In addition to his acting career, the actor also led the U.S. modern pentathlon team at the 1996 Summer Olympics, showcasing his athletic prowess. His versatility and dedication to his craft have made him a respected figure in both the sports and film industries. After initially gaining recognition for his role in Rocky IV, the actor's breakthrough moment came with his portrayal of Soviet officer Ivan Drago. 
However, it was his performance in the 1989 film The Punisher that truly solidified his status as an action star. Despite initial skepticism from fans of the comic book character, the actor's intense portrayal of Frank Castle won over audiences and critics alike. His commitment to the role, including gaining 25 pounds of muscle and performing many of his own stunts, demonstrated his dedication to the craft. Director Mark Goldblatt praised the actor's work ethic, stating, Dolph was a consummate professional. He brought a level of intensity and physicality to the role that was unmatched. The film's success allowed the actor to take on more diverse roles, including a turn in the critically acclaimed film I Come in Peace and a memorable performance in the comedy Johnny Mnemonic. In recent years, the actor has continued to push himself creatively, taking on roles in independent films and even directing his own projects. His enduring popularity and impact on the action genre are a testament to his talent and dedication. As critic Peter Travers noted, the actor has a rare presence that commands attention. Whether he's kicking butt or delivering a punchline, he's always captivating. After completing his service in the Swedish Marine Corps, the actor decided to try his luck in the United States. He found work as a bouncer in New York City, where he crossed paths with Chaz Pommentary. The two men formed a friendship, with Pommentary later recalling that the actor was a very smart guy who was well-spoken and had a lot of ambition. The actor's ambition eventually led him to pursue a career in acting. He landed his first major role in the film Rocky IV, which was released in 1985. Over the years, he has appeared in numerous films and television shows, including The Expendables franchise and the Amazon series The Wheel of Time. In addition to his work in entertainment, the actor is also known for his philanthropic efforts. He has been involved with a number of charitable organizations, including the Red Cross and the Special Olympics. On February 13, 2024, the actor became a naturalized citizen of the United States, marking another significant milestone in his life and career. The actor, known for his roles in action films, has a unique approach to his work. He values staying true to his artistic vision, often seeking out roles that challenge him both physically and emotionally. His process is meticulous, involving extensive research and preparation for each character he plays. This can include studying the profession of the character, learning new skills, and even altering his physical appearance. One notable aspect of the actor's style is his commitment to authenticity. He believes in performing his own stunts whenever possible, which not only adds to the realism of the film, but also showcases his physical prowess. This dedication to authenticity is a reflection of his personal worldview, which values hard work, discipline, and perseverance. The actor's personal experiences have also greatly influenced his work. Growing up in Sweden and later moving to the United States to pursue a career in acting, he has a unique perspective on cultural differences and the immigrant experience. This is often reflected in his roles, where he portrays characters that are grappling with their own identity and place in the world. In addition to his acting career, the actor is also an accomplished martial artist, writer, and director. These diverse experiences have given him a well-rounded perspective on the creative process and have allowed him to contribute to the world of film in various ways. His work is a testament to his artistic vision and his commitment to his craft. Contrary to popular belief, the actor never engaged to Grace Jones, but they lived together for four years. In an interesting turn of events, the actor and his Universal Soldier co-star, Jean-Claude Van Damme, staged a public brawl outside the 1992 Cannes Film Festival to promote their film. They pushed and threatened each other before security guards intervened, creating a media frenzy. Years later, both actors admitted it was a publicity stunt. In Showdown in Little Tokyo, the actor starred as Sergeant Chris Kenner, where he worked alongside Kerry Hiroyuki Tagawa. Their chemistry was undeniable, leading them to collaborate again in Bridge of Dragons. Their on-screen partnerships have left a lasting impression on audiences, showcasing their versatility as actors. The actor, standing at 6'5", made a significant impact in the industry with his imposing physique and talent. His breakthrough role as Ivan Drago in Rocky IV demonstrated his physical prowess and acting abilities, which would become his trademark. Industry experts and colleagues alike have noted the actor's unique contribution to the industry. According to director John Woo, Dolph brings a certain intensity and presence to the screen that is unmatched. 
This is evident in the actor's numerous action roles, where he often performed his own stunts, adding to the authenticity of his performances. Moreover, the actor has also showcased his versatility beyond action films. In The Shooter, he demonstrated his comedic timing, while in The Mechanic, he showcased his dramatic range. His ability to adapt to different genres and roles has inspired many up-and-coming actors. The actor's influence extends beyond his on-screen work. He has also contributed to storytelling through producing and writing. In command performance, he not only starred in the film, but also wrote and produced it, showcasing his multifaceted talents. In addition, the actor has been a strong advocate for fitness and health, using his platform to promote healthy living. He has also been involved in various charitable endeavors, further solidifying his positive impact on the industry and society. Overall, the actor's contribution to the industry is significant, having left an indelible mark through his performances, storytelling, and advocacy. His influence continues to resonate, inspiring both industry professionals and fans alike. In the 1992 film Universal Soldier, the actor, known for his imposing physique, played the role of Andrew Scott. Interestingly, his co-stars, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Ralph Moeller, and himself, hailed from Belgium, Germany, and Sweden respectively, all portraying American characters. A lesser known fact about the actor is his enjoyment of mixology, a hobby he picked up due to his background in chemistry. This unique skill set even extended to his acting projects, such as his portrayal of He-Man and Masters of the Universe. Due to his distinct look and build, Finding a convincing stunt double for the actor can be challenging. However, in Masters of the Universe, the production company, Canon Films, used this to their advantage. With a tight budget, they persuaded the actor to perform many of the stunts himself. While stuntmen were used for particularly dangerous scenes, the actor executed a significant number of stunts, often creatively filmed to conceal the use of a stunt double. The actor, known for his roles in action films, is also a dedicated family man. He values spending quality time with his family and often shares pictures of them on social media. His wife and daughters are frequently seen accompanying him to red carpet events and film premieres. In addition to his love for acting, the actor is passionate about fitness and martial arts. He holds a third degree black belt in Kyokushin Karate and has competed in several championships. His interest in martial arts has often translated into his work, with many of his roles requiring him to showcase his fighting skills. The actor is also known for his philanthropic efforts. He is an ambassador for the European branch of the Red Cross and has been involved in various charity events and campaigns. P is particularly passionate about raising awareness for environmental issues and has worked with organizations focused on preserving the oceans and combating climate change. Moreover, the actor has been open about his struggles with dyslexia and has used his platform to raise awareness about the learning disorder. He has spoken about the challenges he faced in school and how he overcame them through perseverance and hard work. In recent years, the actor has also explored his interest in music and has released several singles. He has said that music has always been a passion of his and he enjoys the creative process of writing and recording songs. Overall, the actor's personal values and interests inform his work and public image. He is not only a talented actor, but also a dedicated family man, fitness enthusiast, environmental advocate, and philanthropist. After his divorce from Annette, the actor had two daughters, Ida Sigrid and Greta Eveline, born in 1996 and 2001 respectively. In the film Masters of the Universe, the actor took on the role of a man. However, he was dropped from the sequel due to financial constraints, as he had asked for a higher salary which Canon Films could not afford. Interestingly, the actor is one of only two Swedish actors to play a Russian character, with Peter Stormare being the other. This demonstrates the versatility of these actors, who can convincingly portray characters from different nationalities. The actor, known for his roles in films like Rocky IV and The Expendables, has left an indelible mark on the industry. His physical prowess and intense on-screen presence have made him a formidable force in action movies. Beyond his acting skills, the actor has also demonstrated his intelligence and creativity by writing and directing his own films. This versatility has allowed him to remain relevant in the ever-changing landscape of the entertainment industry. When asked about his advice for aspiring professionals, 
The actor emphasizes the importance of hard work and perseverance. You have to be willing to put in the time and effort to hone your craft, he says. And don't be afraid to take risks and try new things. That's how you grow and improve as an artist. As for his own future contributions, the actor shows no signs of slowing down. He continues to seek out new and challenging roles and is excited about the opportunities that lie ahead. I'm always looking for ways to push myself and try new things, he says. I want to keep growing and learning as an artist and to continue creating work that resonates with audiences. In short, the actor's legacy in the industry is one of strength, versatility, and dedication. And his advice for aspiring professionals is to embrace these same qualities in their own careers. In the film Rocky IV, the actor who played Ivan Drago, Dolph Lundgren, engaged in real punches with Sylvester Stallone during the shooting of the fight scenes. This intense approach led to Stallone being hospitalized as Lundgren's powerful punch caused his heart to slam against his breastbone, restricting oxygen flow. However, Lundgren has claimed to have no recollection of this incident. In addition to his acting career, the actor is also a skilled drummer. His passion for music is another facet of his diverse talents. The actor was set to work with acclaimed Polish director Andrzej Zalowski in 1990 on a project called The Tiger, but the film was never made. Similarly, other planned projects such as Meltdown and RPM also failed to come to fruition. Despite these setbacks, the actor has a long list of film credits to his name, having performed the majority of his own stunts and fight scenes throughout his career. He takes pride in staying physically fit, even as he acknowledges that the demands of action roles have changed over the years. Born in 1957, the actor's journey began with a strong foundation in academics, earning a degree in chemical engineering before shifting gears to pursue a career in acting. With his imposing physique and striking features, he quickly gained attention in the film industry. However, it was his passion for martial arts that truly set him apart. The actor used his skills to bring intensity and authenticity to his roles, particularly in the iconic film Rocky IV. This breakout performance showcased his physical prowess and acting abilities, solidifying his place in Hollywood. Throughout his career, the actor has continued to innovate, taking on diverse roles that challenge him as a performer. From action hero to dramatic lead, he has proven his versatility and enduring impact on the entertainment industry. In addition to his work on screen, the actor has also directed and produced several projects, further demonstrating his creativity and commitment to his craft. His contributions to the industry continue to resonate with audiences, leaving a lasting mark that transcends generations. The actor's journey is a testament to the power of perseverance and creativity. Through hard work and dedication, he has not only achieved success, but has also inspired others to pursue their passion and dreams. As we reflect on his career, we are reminded of the limitless possibilities that come with following one's dreams and the impact that a single individual can have on an entire industry. The actor was once a contender for the lead role in the film adaptation of the Phantom comic strip during the late 20th century. His martial arts background and physical prowess made him a strong candidate for the part of the Phantom, also known as Kit Walker. In addition to his near-miss role in the Phantom, the actor was mentioned in the 29 television show It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia in the episode Mac and Charlie write a movie. His name was invoked as a symbol of toughness and masculinity. The actor's martial arts skills were not just for show. In 1982, he became the Australian heavyweight karate champion, showcasing his physical abilities and dedication to the sport. This achievement further solidified his reputation as a formidable and talented martial artist. After four decades in the film industry, the actor has made a significant impact. His work in action film, like Rocky IV and The Expendables, showcases his physical prowess. But let's not forget his dramatic roles in films such as The Punisher and Darkness Falls. The actor's work extends beyond films, with notable performances in TV shows like Arrow and Aquaman. His career is a testament to his versatility and enduring appeal. His portrayal of characters with depth and complexity has left an indelible mark on the film and television landscape. It's no wonder that he has a dedicated fan base who cherish his work. So, what do you think about the actor's contributions to the entertainment industry? Do you have a favorite performance? Be sure to share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like and share it with your friends.
Subscribe to our channel for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment.